Hi there, I'm Annie and this is the review for the eTech City T220C Bluetooth speaker available on Amazon.com. eTech City sent me a free review sample so I could do this video for you and I really enjoyed it. Um, when I first got it, it was packaged nicely in this box. Uh, the box is a little dinged up now, that's because of my toddler, not because of shipping. Um, the speaker was nestled securely right inside of there with everything else beneath the foam there at the bottom. Inside of the box we had the speaker itself, a carabiner, a USB to micro USB charge cable. Um, it does not come with an AC adapter so you're not going to be able to plug this directly into the wall but you can charge it using your phone or excuse me your computer or any other USB port. It also comes with a really nice uh, micro USB to standard headphone jack converter so that if you don't have Bluetooth on your phone you can plug this directly into it and you listen to the music that way. It also came with an oddly formatted um, instruction manual. It's printed on two 8.5 by 11 sheets of paper rather than in a nice booklet. I kind of wish they'd done it that way, but it is well written, um, easy to understand with only a few minor typos. The speaker itself is really solid, weighs nicely in my hand. It's really obviously made of good materials instead of cheap plastic like a lot of these are. Um, I was unable to find any way to easily take it apart, uh, so I'm confident it won't break open next time my toddler decides to play with it. While I haven't thrown it off the roof to test it, it feels really sturdy, and I'm not worried about tossing it in a bag or anything. Let's see if I can get it to focus there. There we go. There's the information on the back of it. As far as how it works, the speaker has four buttons on the top. We have one to power it on. There's also an M on it, but according to the instruction manual, all this does is power, so I'm not really sure what the M stands for. There is a play button that you can also use to pause and to answer phone calls. This button is a volume down, or if you hold it down longer, you can actually go back to the previous track. And this is a volume up, or if you hold it down longer, you can advance to the next track. On the bottom, we have a flap that covers our charge ports and everything. It's a pretty nice fit. Um, it's not really going to break. That rubber is in really good shape. Um, this is the micro USB port. That's the only port that you'll need to charge it or to listen to music with. Um, there's also an LED and a reset button. Um, if I power it on for you, like this, it'll make a ding. That flashing blue light just means that it's ready to couple to the computer. Um, as far as with any battery or operated device, you'll want to charge it fully before the first use. Mine came pretty much fully charged already, so it only took a few minutes to top off. When you plug it into charge, the red LED will light up. When it goes off, the speaker is charged. Um, one note about this, the Amazon ad is currently advertising it as waterproof. This is not true, and the Amazon listing even includes a photo warning not to immerse it in water or it might damage the speaker. Um, a better term for this speaker would be weatherproof, which they do use elsewhere in their advertising. Um, you can see if I'm hanging this from my bag or something, none of the water is going to get in through the buttons because those are completely sealed. So weatherproof is, you know, a good, no, is a good name for it. But this flap here, definitely going to get water in if I throw this in my bathtub or my toddler throws it in the toilet. Likewise, there's a port there. This is not gonna hold up underneath water. Um, pairing it with my phone was easy. I just had to turn the device on, bring it up on my Bluetooth list. Now that I've already connected in the past, I can just turn on the speaker and it automatically reconnects. The sound quality is really fantastic for the size of the speaker, um, especially the bass is awesome. I was really surprised when I first turned it on how strongly it vibrates. Um, to turn off the speaker, I can hold, just hold down the power button again for three seconds. If I forget to do this, the speaker will also auto power off after 10 minutes, which is a great battery saving feature. I am extremely pleased with the speaker. As I mentioned earlier, the only downside I've found is the inaccurate labeling of waterproof. Otherwise, it's really a great product and will be a strong competitor with other speakers in its price range. Many thanks to eTech City for giving me a chance to review the speaker. I hope this video has been helpful for you.